क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग टू हिंज आर्चेस प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन सो लेट सी इन डिटेल्स हाउ द आर्चेस विल वर्क Now see this is a question given to us friends a two hinge parabolic arch of span 20 meter and central rise 5 meter carries point load of 20 kN at the crown find the reaction at support and draw bending moment diagram for the arch now in this question we don't have given the diagram so we have to draw the diagram first so let's start with the solution Now see friends, we have done with this diagram. See the question given over here is a two hinge parabolic arch of span 20 meter and central rise 5 meter. Span will be 20 meter and rise will be this is nothing but your riser will be 5 meter. Now since this is two hinge arch, that's why this is one hinge. This one is second hinge. So write it as name A, B, and this one is C. It, it central rise 5 meter carries a point load of 20 kN at the crown means crown is nothing but this one we have applied 20 kN load okay now find the reaction at support and draw bending moment diagram for the arches now we have to find the reactions and what are the reactions comes over here is this is your va h is always inverse in this chapter that's why this value will be h a this is va this one is h a this is vb this is hb okay now how will you calculate first now let's start with the solution now right over here first of all we have to find va and vb so what how will you find va and vb applying condition of equilibrium so first step will be find reaction first so Or other you can directly find out. See, this 20 kN is in the center. Mr. VA will be 10 and VB will be 10. You can write directly also like this. VA is equal to VB equal to 10 kN. Or you can solve taking moment at A equal to zero, clockwise positive. Now write it. See, we are taking moment over here. So this 20 into 10 positive. 20 into 10 minus VB into 20 equal to zero. Here VB will come 10 kilonewton. Okay. Now after that summation F Y equal to zero upward positive. VA minus 20 plus 10 equal to zero. Therefore VA will be 10 kilonewton. Either you can find directly or you can solve by This okay. This will also get 10 kilonewton. Now after that, after that, what you are doing? So see, uh, we have find V A and V B. Now we have to find H also. H is nothing but horizontal thrust. So let's start with second part. We have to find now horizontal thrust is nothing but H. Ha. Uh, in this chapter, we have friends. We have remember these things. This is very important. This step is very important. So if I the formula I is equal to I zero sec theta. Now 
now here you can we have not we are not taking directly bending moment at c as we are seeing in three inch parabolic arches in we are studying two inch parabolic arches to find h do need to apply the direct formula whatever case i am given you have to apply the integration formula so what is the formula f for us is formula will be h is equal to integration of my dx upon integration of y square dx okay this is a formula to you to find h so apply the formula now see let's start first we have find my dx integration of my dx now how to find this see what we have to do what we have to done is there see consider true part for ac part and second bc part take one section at ac part like this take a section over ac part and this distance is nothing but your x at a distance x x okay so this distance is x or this distance is your y now we have to take the moment at over here bending moment at this distance at x so when we are taking bending moment x x what are the value will come see this is block this will go sagging so 10 into x minus c if you open this arch if you open this arch this ha will be like this so this will go in this direction this will go in hugging so it will get minus sign so minus ha into this distance is nothing but y so you can write m will be what is our m will be integration 0 to 10 first of all we got 10 x into y now as you all knows y formula will be 4 h upon l square into l x minus x square this is the formula of y okay so put it over here y sorry 4 h upon l square into l x minus x square dx okay now plus then again 0 to 10 now we are taking section at this side also this distance is x and this distance is y now we are taking bending moment over here now see the which sign conversion we are following is like see this one positive okay now after that from here also that will be same 10 into x plus 10 into x plus 4 h upon l square into l x minus x square instead of writing this you can multiply by 2 also okay but it's a basic that's why i'm explaining whole or you can write into 2 also that's also correct now after that what you have to do is now open the brackets now come over here or you can write like this integration of m y dx is equal to 2 into 0 to 10 10 x into 4 h upon l square into l x minus x square this is also a correct one okay now after that see take the com take the commons from outside 2 into 4 h upon l square will get outside after that integration 0 to 10 after that you see this is 10 x into l x minus x square dx either you can put this whole value directly in the calculator you will get the answer or you can solve so how will you get solve this c 2 into 4 into h h will be h value will be c h is nothing but 5 upon l square l is nothing but 20 so 20 square after that take outside the bracket 10 also 10 integration 0 to 10 l x minus lx square minus x raised to 3 dx we have into the x value in, in inside the bracket now after that you will directly 2 into 20 now this or put all this value in the calculator and you will get the answer of integration of moi dx will be 416667 this is your answer of my okay now we let's start with the y square dx we have done this part now as summation integration of y square dx so right over here integration of y square dx is equal to now see integration in y what you have to do is in y always take the all total length 0 to l 0 to 
L means 0 to 20 directly 0 to 20 okay so y is nothing but 4h upon l square into lx minus x square the whole square into dx since it's a y square now after that take common or you can directly put in the calculator 4h upon l square the whole square integration 0 to 20 lx minus x square the whole square dx okay so this value will come now while solving this you get the value will be 266.67 okay now add all these values h is equal to integration of moy dx upon integration of y square dx is equal to 4166.67 divided by 266.67 the answer will be 15.624 okay this is your h now check check by standard formula now we have to check by standard formula so what is your standard formula will be h is equal to 25 upon 128 into wl by h this is our standard formula so now let's check it 25 upon 128 into w will be 20 l will be 20 h will be 5 is equal to 15.625 kilo newton means we are correct see both the answer are matching so we are correct now our h value will be now your h will be 15.625 kilo newton now put this value also over here h will be 15.625 as you all know h is always same now we have done with this h also now our next questions will be find the bending moment draw the bending moment diagram so draw the bending moment diagram so write it over here second third part bending moment calculation now see bending moment at bending moment at a will be zero as this is in the corner bending moment at b will be zero now we have to find bending moment at c means at center so how will you find right over here bending moment at center so now see what you have to do what the sign conversion you follow is this Okay, now sign conversion you follow, you have to take the section at C and consider either left or right. So we are considering at left side only. So this is going hogging. So 10 into this distance is 10, 10 into 10 minus H 15.625 into this 5 means Y. So 10 into 10 minus 15.625 into 5 is equal to 21.88 kilo newton meter now we have to draw the diagram so how will you draw the diagram for c as we are studying a two inch arches first draw the arch as it is now see this is your arch as it is write all the values this distance length also this will be 20 meter and now draw the pending moment diagram now see at a will be 0 and at c c will be or value will become 21.2 it will come over here like this now join this like this and just this is positive this is negative this is also negative okay this is your a b and c this is nothing but your bending moment diagram friends okay this topic is quite interesting friends exam you can score the marks because it's very simple first what we have to do first find the reactions after that to find horizontal thrust what we have to do that simply we have to apply the formula h is equal to integration of my dx upon integration of upon integration of y square dx 
after that first find the my at to find my what we are seeing we are taking at section from 0 to 10 first and take one section at, at x sec distance x from a and after that plus after that we have to consider another section 0 to 10 and take one section x x at a distance x from b after that add both of them then find y square dx put in the calculator and get the answer and check the value by the standard formula after that we have to time the draw the bending moment diagram bending moment diagram while drawing the bending moment diagram bending, since it is a point load that's why bending moments comes at the center only and both the ends are zero at c at as you are seeing i hope you understand my videos share with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to the ikeda channel thank you